amazing research mod. I'm not an added English speaker, I'm not a good speaker at all, so you're gonna have to put up my bad English in this video. I've been using my Flanket airplanes in this tutorial, I painted them with textures unlimited with color input mod, and the missiles are from Prometheum Experimental Weaponry from Nexstar Industries mod. If you're interested in any mod you see in the video, you can ask in the comments. I'll write the mod list in the description anyway. You can also download my flank at blame from Carable X. Okay, let's begin. It's the Geraldic X02, my first flank at prototype. And what we need are two G11 hinges to make the swing wings movement. You can see here. And in the construction phase, leave a space between the upper and lower structural wings so that the swing wings fit in the middle of them you can put any wing you want let me show you an example as long as the wing fits in the space of the structural wings set the G11 hinges up to 180 degrees I suggest a traverse rate of 15 and a damping of 30 at least that has worked well for me you don't need a controller to move the hinges you can use action groups like me for maximum or minimum angle or like I prefer double hinge with 5 key to make the full swing weight movement and 6 key to lock the hinges we need to lock the hinges for takeoff to lower the flaps and to do high G maneuvers but to avoid excessive wing flex in flight we have to activate the same vessel interaction in the parts that are going to interact with each other that is the structural and swing wings I'm going to show you what happens when the same vessel interaction feature is not enabled so here we are on the Lion Ning Kutznet subclass aircraft carrier so let's start the engines activate the hinges movement with number 5 key then lock them and flaps down some preferred check-ins RCS enabled, SAS enabled and throttle up and take off the gear up let's gain some altitude Retract the flaps. Okay, let's unlock the hinges to see the excessive inflates when we pitch up and down. You see, now the aircraft looks like a fucking bird. I'm not reaching excessive heat forces. But if I do an aggressive maneuver, surely the wings will break into pieces. So let's enable the sink vessel interaction feature. You cannot lock the hinges if they are about part two. So if you struggle with this, you can lock them or unlock them independently. So now you can see that the wings are not so floppy as before. So here is another problem. As you can see, the wings cannot reach the maximum angle. What is the cast of this? But I stopped it by firing a missile or dropping a tank. I 
just fire an R27 missile and the wings finally reach their delta shape. I cannot block the hinges and the wings are still floating. Uh, oh, it seems I forgot to out the strut the structural wings from below. Okay, so I just enable the outer structure feature. The wings work fine. So let's fix this in the space by hunter. Okay, see the structural wings from above are just fine. They are out disrupted. Oh, here's the problem. So up to strap the wings to one for the part and reach attachment on. Very important. The rest of the structural wings are just fine. Same vessel interaction on again. And that's it. Now I'm going to talk about the center of mass and the center of lift. Uh, in order to make an aircraft to fly well, you have to put, uh, you have to be sure that the center of lift is behind the center of mass. So when you have a swing wing aircraft, you have to be careful about that. Because if the center of lift is in front of the center of mass, your aircraft is going to be completely uncontrollable. So, let's see what happens. Here we go on the landing again. Let's start the engines. Lock the hitches, flaps now. RCS, SAS activated and throw it up. And I'm trying to pitch down but it doesn't let me, so we are dead. Okay, I tried to inject Chebetaya, but uh, I think I forgot to set the action group. Let's try it. Where before we crashed and the action groups to activate the ejection seat of Jagatanya. That's it. Let's save the aircraft again. Now it's time to practice with the flanket upgrade version. As you can see, everything is just fine. Structural wings and swing wings are auto strutted with rigid attachment on and with the same vessel interactor feature enabled too. I also added some extra struts on the structural wings and inside the airframe in order to increase their strength because swing wing aircrafts are not suitable for high G maneuvers a solid aircraft are. For example, in real life, the F-15 can reach up to 9 or 10 G high maneuvers, but the F-14 is limited to only 7.5 Gs. And in order to extend their service life, the Tomcat is limited to 6.5 Gs. So, in Herbal Space Program using Karan Air Dynamics, Swing wing aircrafts are also limited to lower Gs than aircrafts that have lesser moving parts or uh, 
complicated mechanisms. So let's fly this beauty. Now we want to try a very useful tool when we use Ferran Aerodynamics. The mod is called Atmosphere Autopilot and it's very useful to keep and maintain a stable flight. It also helps to limit the g-forces an aircraft can reach with a maneuver. So if you are going supersonic using afterburners, you don't have to worry that the aircraft will exceed the g-forces that you previously set up for it. So, Atmosphere Autopilot helps to avoid sudden rough movements of aircraft's control surfaces. You can set up some profiles for different aircraft, for example, half of airliners, fighters, or fighters too. Fighters just for swing wing aircraft, and I have limited to 9 Gs, so I'm going to do a high G maneuver, going almost supersonic, and the aircraft cannot reach the 9 Gs. Cannot exceed it. But instead, if I use SIS or SAS, I don't know how you say it, the control sources are not going to be so gently and your aircraft may explode as well. So I'm going to eject Chevetaya. <laughs> you see, almost 30 Gs. Control surfaces are very unpredictable if you don't use atmosphere autopilot. So let's return to the hinge problem. We see that we had to fire a missile in order to achieve the maximum or minimum angle of the swing wings, but that's not the only problem. We see now that the aircraft is going slower in delta wing configuration and it's going faster in swept wing configuration. And that's a completely stupidity even for vehicles. So we have to fire a missile in order to fix it. We fired a missile, the swing wings were fine, now the aircraft is going faster in delta wing configuration. But now the aircraft cannot reach the maximum swept wing configuration. So we have to fire another missile and it is an endless story. I don't know why it's causing this problem but I think the inches are not very friendly with RAM aerodynamics. I have used internal robotics but if you have used that mod Please write on the comments and tell us if you have experience as in that problem too. So for finishing, if you are going to use your aircraft for combat, don't forget to set up the AI pilot flight computer to limit the G-forces an aircraft can perform. I have set up two AGs because computer is not so smart as atmosphere autopilot and sometimes does so crazy shit. And that's all folks. Comment whatever you want. I will be pleased to answer whatever you ask me about the video, of course. And if you like it, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.